Hello, my crochet friends, and welcome to this day one video of learning a new crochet stitch. So I've got my beautiful new My Valentine colorway that I've dyed. It's um, the new colorway in January, specifically for Valentine's Day. So if you're looking to make something special for someone this year for Valentine's Day, I highly encourage you to support my shop and grab yourself a skein of my Valentine. I have this in fingering weight, DK weight, worsted weight, and bulky weight. They're all very beautiful, and I just know you're gonna love them. So I've got, I've got a bit here caked up, and look at this cake, oh my goodness. Just so sweet, it looks like I could just wanna take a bite out of it. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's get into our um, crochet stitch that we're going to learn today. Now I don't know the name of the stitch and the majority of the stitches that I'm going to be teaching you I do not know the names of. They're just stitch patterns that exist. So I'm going to teach you how to do this using DK weight. This is um, my Valentine in DK weight and I have a 3.75 millimeter hook here which is an F5. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stick that right up there in the corner. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go ahead and cast on 24 stitches. So let's do our little slip knot. So take the yarn, wrap it around your finger, fold it over itself here, and then pull this up and grab that yarn in the back and pull it through. So we've made kind of like a little knot there. It's called a slip knot. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna chain a multiple of two stitches. So I'm gonna do 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So now we have our 24 stitches. And starting in the fourth chain from the hook, we're going to work a single crochet. So that's one, two, three, and four. So this light pink stitch here, I'm going to work into. Now from here I'm going to chain one, I'm going to skip the next stitch here, and then I'm going to work a single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch here, work a single crochet in the next. Chain one, Skip the next stitch, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch, work a single crochet. I'm gonna do that all the way to the end. All right, so now I've finished my last single crochet. So this is what I have so far. Row two, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then I'm going to turn my work. And then from here, I'm going to SC in the chain one space. So SC is abbreviation for single crochet, if you see that in any written patterns. If you see SC, that means single crochet. So that chain one space, we're going to take a look at our fabric here, and this can be kind of hard to see. Where is this chain one space at, right? 
So a good way to tell is let's look at our fabric really close here. So you'll see that there's two little legs right there. Actually, I'll zoom in post filming so it'll be easier for you to see. So these two little legs right here are a stitch. So that's your single crochet. And you know that you chained one and then single crocheted. So here's your next single crochet. So right in between here, so let's look at just these two stitches. Right in between these two little, what look like hearts, are your chain one spaces. And if you tug, you'll be able to see a nice little hole. And it's kind of compact because of the way the, the yarn's kind of floofing up a little bit. But once you work that stitch in there, it'll open up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do it. So inside of this chain one space, I'm going to go into it with my hook, pull up a loop, pull through, and then there you go. So now you can see that a little bit better. See how that's opened up a lot more? That's your chain one space. So let's go ahead and chain one after we finish our single crochet. We're going to skip the next SC. So remember our SCs, our single crochets, are the two little legs going down. And what I like most about this, especially using this stitch with this yarn, these look like hearts when you're working the, the yarn or the fabric up, and you'll see that in a second. So look for the heart, right? And then place your stitch in the open space next to it. So now we're gonna single crochet into that chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. If you ever get lost, just stop and look for the hearts. There it is, right there. <clears throat> We're going to work that to the last stitch and I'll show you what to do when we get there. All right, so now we've worked the last chain one space available to us. So now we have a single crochet and then we have our turning chain. So we've single crocheted into the chain one space and we've chained one. So now we're gonna skip this single crochet, the last one, and we're gonna single crochet in this turning chain. So just grab anywhere in the turning chain. The closer to the top you are, the better and place a single crochet. And there you go. Now, this is what we have. Isn't that cute? All right, let's chain two and turn our work. We're gonna do the very same thing. So we're gonna look for that chain one space. We should start with one, because remember when we came here, we chained one, we had our single crochet in the chain one space, then we chained one, then we did a single crochet. So when we turn, we're gonna have a single crochet and then a chain one. So there's our little chain one space, so we're gonna add a single crochet into it. Single crochet into the chain one space, chain one. Skip the next single crochet, which is those little hearts. Remember when we push them little legs together, we'll get a heart. So look for the legs, go into the next space. Single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Continue that all the way till you get to your last chain one space. And don't make your chains too tight whenever you're chaining after your single crochet. Kind of keep it loosey-goosey. All right, here we are at the last chain one space. I did my single crochet, I did my chain, and now I'm going to work into that turning chain. So I'm just gonna place a single crochet inside of the turning chain. And then that's what we're, we're gonna do. 
over and over again. So row three is the repeat. So we chain two, turn the work, single crochet inside of the chain one space, chain one, single crochet inside of the next chain one space, chain one. And we keep doing that all the way to whatever we wanna do. You can make anything with a stitch. You can make a blanket, you can make a scarf, mittens, sweater. The world is your oyster when it comes to this. So tell me in the comments below, what can you see this stitch being beautiful um, if it's made into something? I'm thinking some arm warmers because it's a very thick fabric. So let me get to the end here and I'll show you kind of what it looks like when it's working up. All right, I'm at the end. I'm working inside of the chain three. All right, let's pull up here. Look at how adorable that is. Look at the little hearts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so cute. That is too adorable. Don't they look like little hearts? Or maybe it's just the color of the yarn that's making me think it looks like hearts, but it looks like tiny little hearts right there. Oh, I'm so, I'm so tickled. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> All right, let me spend some time working this fabric up a little bit more so you guys can see what it looks like when it's, once it's like almost fully fleshed out. All right. All right, and there's the stitch. Check that out, how beautiful that is. I think this is a gorgeous stitch pattern that could be used for just about anything, and it is reversible. I think with the majority of crochet stuff, it is pretty reversible, but this one, is just fantastic. It's quite a dense fabric when it works up, so it'd be nice and warm. So I'm thinking maybe some arm warmers. Let me know what you think below. What would you make with this? All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on the bell on the notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more crochet stitches, so I hope to see you in the future. All right, have a great day. Bye.